Hey there, everyone. The SoCal playing Sonic and the Black Knight, and we did it. Last time we beat the game, we destroyed everything that was available through us in the universe. And uh, there's still a whole bunch of odds and ends, though. And I want to take the time to look at those a little bit. So first thing I want to do, I think, everyone might agree. Let's go ahead and forge as many things as we can. I forget where- crap, there you go. Let's do as much as is possible. Uh, you can make a weapon, alright, so we will not have a full set, sadly. Because there's still a question mark, but here's a Sikase, Sika, Sikachi. I'm not sure, but you need to be true of heart to be able to wield that. Well, I've skipped one by accident, that's fine. You can count on tails. There's the Aduro Kopesh. Uh, very strong heat. Sounds great. This one needs the ruby. I can see that right there in the menu. Hey, is the Aduro Cutlass? Strange red glow for you and me. Oh, wow, yeah. There's still a lot we won't be able to do. And some of them... Like, I'm looking at what they require. And, yeah, like, they just... The game expects you to do a little bit of farming, to grind for material. You still got Brinning, the power of magma. And like you look here, like for example, I I I don't have that weird pokey sword. That's just the reality. And there's stuff I still haven't found, which is hilarious to think about. So not as many as I thought I would find. That's weird. All right. I mean, so be it. Let's take a look quickly in battle mode here. Oh, for a new rules can characters can unlock in adventure mode. So, but here's the thing. Can I play versus about? Oh wow. Okay. Last man standing. Everything seems pretty. So how is this gonna work? So I got all these characters, including. Oh wow. So two characters I haven't unlocked in some. That's that's silver, isn't it? Okay, Silver's here! That's funny. Uh, I don't know why you... Ready yet. But, you know. Um... And then that's where we get to. There's no going further from here. Uh, unfortunately. We need at least a second character, and I don't have the means to do that. But... All our things here, things are things. These things existed. I'm, I'm surprised I haven't unlocked, like, every character, though. Like, how do you unlock further characters? It's probably XP, right? XP related? And I that's not as high as it could be. So what's this? Collected items and gives them to friends. What? Oh, hey. So you can use the internet to send them over. Oh, sweet! Whoa, look at that menu, the way it goes like, brah! I love that! <laughs> so, okay, hey, so we can you, we can actually know what these means now. Uh, Alright. Destroyer! Here's the... That's the thing from Metroid, that's a screw attack. <laughs> Alright. I never got whatever this is. Who has harmed those who are to protect? Uh, a chicken is known as a single eye in the void. Uh, that is true. Weakling is an X. A lot of damage. It happens. Coward. Uh, little skill with a sword. That's pretty judgmental. And ruffian. I did run into things all the time. What is that Dreamcast logo? Oh, of course. It's the popular with children, brave enough to enter Camelot's waterway. I remember now. So yeah, like, there's still a lot that I didn't get. I do, I guess I, and I, I don't, I didn't even get all the colored rings. I got six of them. Yeah, I'd be missing one here, but I played all the legacies. So I guess even if you play a legacy, you don't necessarily get the ring, or I did too badly, maybe? It's possible. So that's cool. So here you get holes to fill up, but I don't know how you would know where to go for everything that you something. Point is though, yeah, so this is the thing. Things we have unlocked through time, so... 
Oh, these are... Okay, so we will not be looking at everything because these are still locked. Oh, well, in fact, a lot might still be locked. Anyway, so Vault 1... Can't do it. Vault 2. So these are... Gameplay movies, it looks like. Yeah, like, um... I mean, we could watch one of them again. Or we could not. Percival's defeat. Okay, and we got, like, all of these layers of movies. Including, uh, the credits. Okay, this is kind of neat. There we go. What is this? Wait, what? These are different. So these are the movies. But then suddenly here they're not. Let's just skip ahead a little bit. What's this? So yeah, it- Oh, this is the Arthur legend book, isn't it? Possibly. And here's music. You can get some music, God, including with me. Night of the Wind! Uh, congratulations. Okay, so this is just like Chivo's. Oh, shoot. Uh, Night of the Wind. Does it tell the King's Tale has been cleared? Yeah, so the true king. Hey, I love playing this comic book, this storybook world a little bit. See if you can do it again! I'm not going to. Though. Okay, and what's this, though? Okay, it's because I don't have any, so this is character voices. So, okay, so here we can see that getting five stars is a big part of the game. It's a big part of the value, as that's how you unlock, like, a billion million things, and that's exciting. That's pretty cool. Okay, but I'm interested here. Here we get this old slather of movies that don't seem to be cinemas. And here, which is book. So, let's see what happens here. Misty Lake, retrieve the secret sword. Special challenge, retrieve the... Yeah, what? Okay, so it's a... It's an in-game movie. Okay. And it shows you that sweet move. Cool! Reach a blacksmith shop! Oh, check it out. I'm the one playing here in low resolution. And low frame rate. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of... Okay, I'm not sure what you... Oh, are you saying that there's a guy there? And then if you give him things... He flibbly flaps and he gives you a treasure. Alright, fair enough. Good knowledge to have. Uh, Reach the Lady of the Lake, here's a little, little something you can find. Uh, if you run here and you kick the bees, uh, they become rings. Uh, Alright, you can exchange bees for money. That's that's like in real life. Uh, here's the Defeat the Boss, Sir Lancelot. Uh, he loves to lance. Alright, what are you showing here? Yeah, block a lot, then you do that. Okay, you are... Oh, wow! So just instant victory. Just absolute super destroy there. One combo. That's kind of sad. For your foreshadow. Alright, so here you go. You soul surge while in the air. You know, you can soul surge everyone here. And as long as you never touch the air, it's like you're playing Arcana Heart. Finally. In my Sonic. Yeah, that's that's what you're doing here. It's a full never touch the ground combo using Soul Surge by hitting the thing every time. And then the red meter on the side just goes flick, flick, flick forever. Alright, here's the Gawain cheat. That's been a bit, feels like. There's some pixel black pixel at bottom of the movie. And on the right side. But not the left or top. Alright, so yeah, this is the combo. Very similar to what you did to Lancelot. Let's do the same thing with Percy. Percival, the cat. It's gonna blaze it. So, homing attack like that, then block. Oh, he's in big sword mode. Whoa, sandstorm going on here. So, attack the sandstorm and... Jeez, oh, that, that one's a bit more complicated. Alright, that's pretty cool. Here's uh, the King Arthur vibe. So, we're on the second phase here. It's the phase where that the, the hand shadow sword does that move. Just kind of sitting there. Some flip to power up. Alright, go ahead a little bit, but then fall behind. 
Big hand uh, doing the move. So I guess this is a how to dodge the flaily hand. Like, that's fair. It took me a little bit to understand that one. Beat the clock, which I read as beat the Glock. <laughs> oh no, Shadow's back. All right, so uh, what are you doing here? Like, what are you showing me? I'm not sure. You just kind of went through this. Well, all right. I have no idea what, I guess it's a way to go through those parts fast. Uh, dragon Slayer. Oh my gosh, it's a dragon. Whoa, it's got a mouth. Uh, wild. Uh, never would have I imagined such a contact. So he's in the uh, paladin mode. Uh, wow, you can just bulldoze through things at that level of paladin though. Like, you just go, and you just got this, like, wave of power in front of you. Dark Queen video! Yeah, when he's in the Saint Seiya suit. Uh-huh. So, by looking at the gauge, I can tell that he is very, very... Yeah, like, he's just getting perfect hits every time. Perfect timing means you can just keep going. And sounds like the message here is that if you are perfect hitting every hit, you're just gonna have an infinite combo. That's good. Lancelot returns. Uh, what a jerk. All right. So go in here with uh, Paladin. Do that. It's a bit confusing. Whoa. Huh. Okay. Pictures drawn by European Sonic fans. Uh, here we go, it's time. Adam Tuff from the UK with this scene from Sonic 3. And here's a scene from Sonic Rival, if there's both silver and, uh, Blaze. Uh, I mean, that's the classic scene from, uh, that game. And here's the UK, they have dinosaurs like that. They get real mad if you sit on them. I mean, this is really cool. What's up with Knuckles, like, van? <laughs> Whoa, that thing is, uh, I love the style, if anything. So there's just, yeah, people send them fan art all the time, I'm sure, and, uh... They put him here. And Sonic and the Black Knight, of all things. That's pretty rad, though. It's like a bit of a review of the different games we've played in the, like three years that all the Sonic has been lasting. Good old Mouthful of Chaos. That's right, and this is the scene. Uh, going as far as Unleashed, huh? Did not expect that. <laughs> Unleashed fan. Man, like that wasn't even that far away. And yeah, and here we get... Battle Cry... Galactica fan art. No, with secret rings, a different thing. Like what no yeah, that's that's Sonic 3 probably. Didn't didn't expect that. That's really cool. American and Canadian. We count separately. <laughs> Alright, good to know. <laughs> Doomsday! That is accurate. Well check it out. Oh, everything is so weirdly muddy. Absolutely looks like something I would have drawn as a teen, though. Like that muddiness. <laughs> that one's adorable. I don't know what Eggman is doing, but he's having fun. Like some of these are legitimately like really good. Like, like it is impressive. <laughs> Their legs. What is going on? And they're just kind of stopped for a hot second. That was scary. The scariness of stopping. Oh yeah, that's Sonic 06, Robotnik. Oh, yeah, that is abs- It's funny, like, even before I saw Emerald there, I sort of got the vibe that that was Sonic Battle Art by the um, blockiness of everything. It's kind of funny to think about. That's- that is how you would represent the Sonic 1 boss, in a real space. Interesting. Gun! <laughs> that's what the truck has to say. Oh, that's Bio Lizard, I guess? Okay, yeah, it is. I, I, I took me a little bit to kind of recognize it. I wonder if there are known names in the names down there in the bottom. I have not really been looking. 
All right, well, uh, Japanese Sonic fans, let's see what they have to show. Why is Knuckles give that robot right out of the border? Man, Amy is out to cause problems on purpose. And Silver's gonna eat that butterfly. Here's the band, the Team Heroes, said the writing. This one's pretty cute. There's a lot of cake. It's so fun seeing a lot of Jet of all characters. Like, I'm glad Jet managed to leave some kind of impact. And once again, Secret Rings. I mean, there are people who legitimately like that game, and like, I'm not gonna remove that from that. This one is really good. Wow. Keep out of shadow. He has rainbow guns. <laughs> All right, good for you. Um, yeah, and still with a like rock star motif of sort. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Eyeballs around. Whoa. Okay. Uh, I misunderstood Sonic's torso there as being his legs going in loops. I apologize for misinterpreting your art. Hey, look at that. Sonic's getting eaten. As long as he's got rings, he's fine. Oh, that, that, that is an adorable little shot of Sonic. I, like, it doesn't feel like the kind of shot Sega wants to be Sega's image, though, which is kind of funny. Because they, they approve this, probably. So what's this vault? Put a hairdryer, creates a new legend, and I win with a secret sword by his side. His real name is Sonic the Hedgehog. He is a super side blue hedgehog. He's always cool and follow his heart. I do not believe him to be 15 year old. He acts like a 20 year old slacker. The fleet footed hedgehog creates a new legend as another win with a secret sword by his side. Oh wait, is this, is this, I'm pressing buttons. Okay, so we get two things though. Got it, I understand. With two different, completely different art style and medium. The legendary sword. Merlin plays the sword in the stone, claiming that none but the true king could pull it out. None were able to pull a sword free except Arthur. That act made him the king of all England. Landscaping is the secret <laughs> to regency in ye old England. Everyone knows that. Excalibur. When Arthur broke his sword, Merlin guided him to the lake, where he found the sword left aloft by fairy magic. Arthur went out in a small boat and claimed the sword. The sword was the legendary Excalibur, which Arthur used to save the kingdom a couple of times. I love how they have to very specifically say it was out in a small boat. <laughs> you couldn't afford better. <laughs> it's the nice of the round table, a lot of those fools. That one has a floating rail. Lancelot is known as the strongest, and Arthur's nephew Gawain as the greatest knight. Strong... Strength doesn't lead to greatness. Though brothers in arms, the two are rivals, and Sir Percival's quest is a legend in its own right. That's kind of mean. It feels like they kind of put Percival into their own thing. It's like, mean. So, yeah, and I'm not gonna go through that. We've heard all that music. And yeah, I'm... I mean, I say I'm surprised, but no, it's... If you want to unlock everything, you're gonna have to get some five stars. But like, of specific, particular mission, they don't even tell you which one. Which, kind of mean, but I don't know, I, I guess I got So this would be developer data. That's what we're missing out on, sadly. That would be fun to see, but I wasn't really good at this game. Uh, that's just... That's the reality of things. And this will close the lid on Sonic and the Black Knight. I enjoyed myself with this game. As much as I commented that I found the the game relatively shallow, I still to me it was still a fun roller coaster kind of thing. A bit of a thrill. And I was glad to have something relatively mindless to play while I was playing like Copy Kitty Hard and um Death Wish. Like, it, the pairing was was very right for me. I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, but yeah, it is done. It's over. And coming up next, I hope things can hold together. 
That's the biggest mystery.